we've gone from something is really, really unstable to something that's almost indefinitely stable. So from that standpoint, it's, an, it's a very, very important discovery. This was a serendipitous uh, meeting of three people with three different areas of expertise, which led to a serendipitous finding, which will be of good use to all of us. Really thrilled to have, have found this unique gift from nature. about it. As you're probably aware there is an urgent need for new antibiotics and new classes of antibiotics and this antibiotic was found by um, Bill Fenical, Paul Jensen in 2006 but because of its instability there was no future for its progression. The marinomycins are a structurally novel class of antibiotics, really important because they've got great activity against nasty strains like MRSA, also the vancomycin resistant strains as well, they're showing very good activity against those. They haven't been progressed toward any clinical trials because they're so unstable. Um, the marinomycins are a really cool set of molecules. They're made by um, marine bacteria. And these marine bacteria, to a level by the water that they exist in, are shielded, screened from sunlight. So these compounds, if you have them produced by a, a bacterium on the surface, as soon as they come into con uh, contact with sunlight, like, they start degrading they start falling apart. Pollen remains robust over centuries and it's, it's protecting its genetic content within these shells. And there's a really cool company called Sporomex which has been looking at getting rid of all the things around a pollen which would cause hay fever, so all the proteins um, and also the DNA from inside. And what's left is this wonderful vessel. The dual role of the pollen shells, because what we do is we extract all of the um, allergenic material or the genetic material within the pollen. So we're just left with this shell made of this very unusual pollen. Well, it's there in every, every um, uh, pollen shell. And so the remarkable discovery in this paper is that we can use these spores to further protect them. And now what was effectively useless is now useful again. We tried the experiment on a, a very intensive UV lamp, um, much stronger than the kind of UV that you'd have expo be exposed to through standard sunlight. I think when you think about the half-life of marinomycin in UV light, it's 90 seconds. And then when we shine this UV light on it and the dried pollen shells, uh, after seven hours, there's no, no sign of any decomposition. There's a lot of potential for this. And so that could essentially open up new avenues in drug discovery that at the, at the moment are very, very challenging because of delivery.